I want to talk about a piece of advice that I know a lot of men are giving to each other. And I do feel that it's something that needs to be addressed because men are getting way too many different interpretations of what it means to them. And that is this idea of being persistent in your interactions or cold approaches with women that you're talking to. This idea of staying in there as long as possible because for some men it will be a social freedom exercise and it will help them to develop their confidence. Well, I can assure you and in saying this that if you're staying in an interaction with someone who is clearly stated to you no or they're not interested, you're only going to make the situa- situation really weird and creepy. And not just for you or for the the guy that you've suggested that to, especially if he's a beginner, but also for the women that you're stopping. And you're going to be giving yourself a bad name and a bad reputation for the community. It's not something that any guy should be doing. If a woman has said to you, no, I'm not interested, you have to take that as gospel. You have to take that as the truth. If a woman's attracted to you and she's interested, I can assure you she won't end up saying that. And if she says it in a way that's really flirty, like she's doing what's known as the Diana pose and she's looking at you and she's maybe being playful and giggly and stuff, then yeah, you can absolutely read between the lines on that. It's more of a, this like a, no, we shouldn't do this sort of thing. But when you're having someone literally putting their foot down and very sternly saying, no, I'm not interested, that's not a cue for you to carry on staying there and treating it as a social freedom exercise to think you're going to get something better out of it. In fact, as a question now, I mean, you're, what are you going to get out of it? Standing there and weirding someone out? If you're someone who hasn't got social skills and you think attitude-wise, like, yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm doing it to develop my confidence, there are many other ways, better ways, to develop one's confidence. And if you want to be getting good experiences from your cold approaches, then you have to One, except that if someone says no, they're not interested, then that is when you need to leave them be. And if you want to, you know, leave a really great impression, then give them a compliment, wish them all the best and off you go. There is no point changing your energy to something that's going to just be really weird because you are making other people uncomfortable with your approaches. That is how you can give the industry a bad name. And I know that has happened and there's reasons, in fact, that has happened to the industry because of things like that. And I want to be able to turn this around. I want people to have great interactions. So, What can you actually do about this? Well, again, if someone says that they just aren't interested, leave them be. And if you are wanting to work on your persistence, and this is this is actually where I think the guys do make a mistake, is when they eject themselves out of an interaction that possibly was going really well, where they eject themselves too quickly. So when you're giving someone advice or when you're receiving advice about being persistent, it should be more focused about just having a conversation with someone. And if it does get to that point that the situation or conversation has come to an end, then always look to end it on a high. Don't stay in a conversation longer than what's necessary. There is nothing social freedom about it. You're only going to just creep out everyone. You're going to change that energy within you and it's going to make it even more difficult for you to be doing your approaches. Now, if you are a guy who seems to be very comfortable with doing that, then I think you do need to reconsider you know, your reasons for going out and practicing cold approach or social skills. It's going more down a darker avenue and isn't something that is going to get results. If you want to be sort of cocky and cheeky with women, there are certainly other ways to do it, but there is nothing beneficial of 
staying in an interaction with someone, weirding them out, saying really odd and bizarre things to them, especially if you're interrupting their day. So my only piece of advice really with all of this, you know, if you're being told to be persistent in your interactions, to stay longer than necessary, then I want you to think about the more appropriate way to do this. If a conversation has come to an end because someone has said, no, they're not interested, then accept that. Don't think, oh, okay, well, because my my wingmen or other guys have told me I need to carry on staying in the interaction. That is not where this advice needs to be applicable. Being persistent is only applicable in the part where you are getting into an interact with interaction with someone and you are having that conversation. If you're someone who then struggles with ideas of things to say, this is where being persistent is important because being persistent then can teach you about active listening. What is the person you're speaking to saying that you need to be taking that information from and then asking a question or a statement about? That is where persistence is important, staying in an interaction longer than what maybe you normally would because your anxiety has got the better of you and you would much prefer to escape from that conversation and go back to your comfort zone. That is where persistence is important because then it can teach you to try and stay more actively focused on the person that you're talking to and to be able to engage more and have a conversation. That is where being persistent and staying there for longer is important. But if someone says no, they're not interested, you have to take the hint. So I hope that this is just useful information for you. Um, It's not me trying to be strict on this, but it's me just trying to, one, change how the uh, the dating communities are perceived, but also just how beginners who are new to working on their social skills or new to working on dating because it's been neglected. This is just social intelligence for you. This is what men who certainly do want to get positive impacts or changes in their lives, they need to incorporate Stay in your interactions longer to practice your conversation skills. But if someone says no, they're not interested, then wish them all the best, wish them a good day and move on to a better interaction where you are going to be able to talk for longer and you are going to connect with someone that is interested in connecting with you. So like and subscribe if you can to the channel. I would love to hear your thoughts on this video. And if someone has given you that advice too of being persistent and what did you do about it as well? So till then, thank you very much for watching and uh, look forward to more of my videos.